tornadoes, twisting funnels of air that occur during storms. They can be so powerful, picking up dirt, water, even cars. A tornado over a body of water is known as a water spout. Today, we're going to recreate a water spout or a tornado inside a bottle. Let's get into it. So, hi everyone. I've got Ella here with me today. Hi, hi Ella. How are you? Good. So, Ella, you don't have tornadoes where you're from, do you? Mm, no. Yeah. OK, so we're going to build a tornado in a bottle. What? Yeah. Now, it's super easy and you can also do this yourselves at home. If you wow. do, just make sure that you ask a grown-up for help. Now, all you're going to need to do this experiment are two bottles with quite long necks, if you can find them. And you just need some strong tape and food colouring. But it's important to note that the food colouring is optional. You don't have to use it. But we're going to use some today, Ella. So, what colour do you think we should have our water? Mm, blue. Blue, that's a great choice. OK, in that case, let's get making. Yeah. So, this experiment is super easy. All we need is one, two bottles, some strong, ideally waterproof tape, some scissors, and the optional part is the food colouring. So, what we're going to do first is fill this first bottle up almost to the top. So, now we have our water. So we're going to add in a few drops of food colouring into the water. There we go, look at that. Now all we need to do, you need to have kept the cap from either one of the bottles. We're just going to put the cap on the bottle and we're going to give it a little shake to mix up the water and the food colouring. OK, so now we just need to fill up the remainder of the bottle as far to the top as we can. Great! Now we've got the water all of the way to the top. There's only really one more step. And we're going to place the bottle upside down so it rests on the other one, just like that. And then all we need to do is tape around it and make sure that it's nice and watertight. So we're just going to take some of our tape, cut a bit off, and all we're going to do is wrap it around. Don't worry too much if it's not perfect. There we go. And then all you want to do is give it a nice squeeze all of the way around and make sure that that tape is nice and secure. Now, because we're playing with water, we're going to do one more strip of tape. So, one more strip of tape around the outside and again, Pressing firmly as we go. Squeeze it whilst twisting the bottles around to make sure we've got a nice watertight seal. And there we have it, our tornado in a bottle. So Ella, here is our finished tornado in a bottle. I know, it's so cool. Right, did you know as well, tornadoes are also known as twisters. And if oh. they happen over water, they're known as water spouts. Wow. Yeah, a little bit of trivia for those at home watching. Right, shall we test this out? Yeah. yeah. Right, so if you're doing this at home, what you need to do is grip the center of the bottle, hold 
the bottom, what I need you to do, the moment you tipped it upside down, you need to rotate it in a circular motion. And this will create the vortex that gives us the tornado effect. So, on the count of three, ready? One, two, three! Wow, look at that! That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah! Let's see that in close-up. How amazing was that tornado effect, Ella? Wow! I know, it was incredible. I hope you had fun watching us make this tornado in a bottle. Yeah. And hopefully you can make it at home yourselves too. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again very, very soon. Bye! Yeah.